I've always been fascinated by religious tracts, especially when I was a kid. I had a hard time accepting the fact that I'm going to die someday, and tracts offer kind of a vacation from doubt. They're very certain about what happens after you die. It's this very easy way of looking at the world. Um, at the same time, there's something kind of illicit about them. You only ever find them on gas station floors or wherever. There's a very particular visual language in a lot of these. They're, they're kind of awkward and dry, but very sincere. For One Breaks Through, I wanted to see what would happen if I applied that visual language to a bigger project. One Breaks Through is the story of a character who knows that everything is doomed, but chooses to press on anyway. He's imposing his own reality on the world, and I chose to represent that with these hallucination dream sequences. When Ben and I were planning out this project, something that became clear very early on was that this is not the kind of story you follow to see what happens. It's the end of humanity. It's more that you spend a little bit of time in another world before returning to your own. It's like putting death in a zoo so you can look at it safely. I was pulling really heavily from 10th century cathedrals. Um, this is the end of the Christian millennium. It's a time when all of Europe is very literally bracing for the apocalypse. And you see all of these demon and monster figures that are supposed to scare people straight before the end of the world. They're a little silly looking by our standards. They're kind of goofy, but you still see the original purpose. And I love that tension. We create monsters because the really scary things in life don't have faces. We don't get to confront them. I wanted to give the policeman a chance to be right. I wanted to give him a chance to punch death in the face. Even if it's just for a few measures.